Hello guys and welcome to Mr. 305. I'm Chris and we're doing another Microsoft Flight Simulator Payware review. So today we're looking at the Flying Iron Spitfire Mark 1 and we're in a livery of the RAF 126 Squadron Muscat livery. Uh, a little bit of information about this aircraft. Uh, we have a two hour endurance. 350 nautical miles and it is available now on marketplace for $24.99 so what we're going to have a look at is it worth buying would I buy it obviously I have and is it worth the money that you pay for so this is just literally a quick first impressions and we'll do a little circuit around Carlisle Lake District Airport here we are Eddie Stobar owns this still and it's great for just testing aircraft and looking at new things in the simulator so let's have a look at this uh, Spitfire then. It's uh, obviously a, an Iron Warbird. And the graphic wise, first impressions are pretty good. I'm actually quite impressed with it, to be perfectly honest. Um, I've got to admit, I've never, <laughs> I've not actually flown it yet, so I wouldn't know how to fly it. So uh, I've not really done a tail a tail steer aircraft really on flight simulator before so this is a learning curve for me as well so there we go there's the outside it looks um, pretty good I mean you've even got the individual rivets there which is yeah that's pretty cool is that I don't know what that strobe light is there hmm. never mind so let's go ahead and look at the cockpit and see what we're dealing with here we are in the cockpit ladies and gents as you can see I have not a clue where anything is Although the batteries are on, that's a you know that's a positive sign. Oh, oh. So I don't know how this works. I don't know how I have to start it. I haven't studied this aircraft, so oh, oh. I wouldn't know how to really start it in flight. So what we're going to do is we're just going to press Control E in a tinkle. Have a look at the mirror there for the combat, and let's have a look behind. Yeah, I tell you something, they've really gone to work with this. Uh, to click on that with the Spitfire it's looking really good I must admit very impressed with the interior work on here so let's go ahead let's cut to the chase let's uh, cut to the head get the thing fired up let's listen to the sounds let's do a quick circuit and we'll see where we are from there so I'm going to press Control E because I don't have a clue how to start this aircraft oh that sounds good that sounds good Oh, listen to that sound. Let's give it a little, little bit of throttle so we're dealing with. Oh, yeah. Sweet ass. Right. How do we close this by pulling this up? Uh, we'll keep the canopy open. We'll do a little bit of taxi with the canopy wide open so we can see where we're going. Brakes on this aircraft. Back deployment there. It's either up or down. Well, you guys can tell me what the uh, real settings are for that. But uh, yeah, up or down. Throttle's not very responsive. Uh, it probably needs a good lift to actually get moving. Probably quite realistic to be honest. The sounds actually sound really nice, especially in a surround sound uh, environment there. Carlisle Tower, Gfish 7715, ready at runway 24 straight out departure. Runway 24 G fish 
Right, let's jump in the cockpit, let's get it closed.
go short and sweet first look at the Spitfire um, sorry it wasn't a great flight guys pretty crap to be honest never flown it before but would I buy it would I recommend you buy it yes I would absolutely dream to fly you can have some fun with this with friends uh, flying around the cliffs of Dover stuff like that you get a few of you in the air be absolutely phenomenal so yes I would recommend you buy that 24.99 great aircraft great bit of kit a lot of work gone into that and graphically wise it's just absolutely stunning and um, yeah take you back to the wartime era thanks for watching guys stay safe speak soon bye bye